Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this press briefing on behalf of the International Monetary Fund. We do project recovery in 2021. In fact, there may be a sizable rebound, but only if we succeed with containing the virus everywhere and prevent liquidity problems from becoming a solvency issue. A key concern about a long-lasting impact of the sudden stop of the world economy is the risk of a wave of bankruptcies and layoffs that not only can undermine the recovery, but can erode the fabric of our societies. Kristalina's remarks, what she just said, uh, we'll send th th these out to you uh, shortly. Over 80 countries have placed requests uh, and more are likely to come. Uh, and normally, uh, we, we never have had more than a handful of requests uh, at any one time. Yesterday, our executive board approved the first of those requests for the Kyrgyz Republic in a record fast disbursement. Let me take those two from uh, those two sources. Uh, so, Mohammed uh, of Gulf News is asking... We are proposing to double our emergency financial capacity simplify our pro processes, fill the gap in our concessional financing. Second, we are reviewing our lending instruments to see what might be missing in the context of this crisis so that we can respond appropriately. What we want is countries to approach the fund and access the tools they require for the needs they have. The sooner they do it, the sooner they obtain necessary financing, the sooner they implement good policy, the better chance we have to contain the damage and move towards recovery. Uh, Xinhua is, is uh, asking, uh, the IMF predicts uh, global economy to contract this year. It is all hands on deck at the IMF. We are working very hard to strengthen our response capacity as much as possible. It's truly a wonderful song. If you guys are Rona sympathizers.